Okay, so today I'm working on my fifth wheel landing gear, and that's this thing. I'm kind of blocking it right here. And there's another one down here. And they lift and lower the fifth wheel trailer uh, so that you can put it on your truck, but also so that you can uh, level it and put it on the ground. And the, uh, the problem, well, first let me show you what I've got here. So there's a bar here that connects the two sides. And we've got one side over here. You can see where the bar connects to it. And then over here, there's a motor. And um, it turns in this gear mechanism, which is a gear reduction. And it turns the gear reduction into the primary landing gear here. And then that also is fed through this bar to the secondary. So they both turn in equal. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how it You see how it's turning both sides at the same time. And then it's lifting and or lowering the actual landing gear. Okay, so the problem I have with this is what if I'm on the uneven ground and this, this thing is joined and connected. Um, the only way to uh, adjust for uneven ground is through the hole settings here. Now you can, these are on both of these landing gears and you can put these at about an inch apart and you can put, you know, inch, inch higher on one side and this is the other side here or the other and you can see on this one it's up uh, three holes and then this one's up uh, two holes so I've kind of adjusted I don't know if you can see this or not yeah two holes so I've adjusted uh, you know one side to be higher than the other well that gives you a one inch play you've got to do this while the truck is on while the while the landing gear is on the truck if you don't do it at that point then um, you're kind of hosed because as soon as you take this off the truck and trying to level it, the only way to get it back up in the air so you can make that adjustment on these things is to put it back on the truck and do it all over. It really major pain in the ass. So what I've done temporarily here um, is I've added, I'll show you on this one here. I'll try to show it. I've added these, uh, I've removed the bolts and added this kind of a deal here. And so what that allows me to do, it's got a pin, and I can pull this whole mechanism out. I gotta probably loosen it a little bit. Yeah, it just fell a little loose. So you can pull this whole mechanism out like this, pull the bar off, and now I can raise and lower one side versus the other. And this one also has a pin. I'll try to demonstrate pulling that in. Not so easy with my light here. Here, let's see here. So, pull the pin. I don't know if I'm not the best at holding the camera while I'm doing this. Anyway. You can pull the whole bar out, which I just did, and that allows you to just adjust this side independent of the other side. And so that's what I did uh, when my first camping trip was I uh, I pulled the pin, pulled the cotter pin, got it, got it fairly level, and then adjusted the one side, just this side independent of the other, and I got it level. Well. Uh, less than ideal um, because again I ran out of room on the landing gear things that went down too low or up too high I can't remember which it was just a major pain so what I'm gonna do today um, is I'm going to I'm going to put in two of the same sides and I've got the landing gear on this side and it's different from the landing gear on this side um, so, I'm going to show you the differences here. I've got a, an extra one I bought on eBay. Here. And so, this is the, this is what the, the driver's side it looks like. So, um, I think they call this the 
I don't know, I'm calling it the driver's side, but it's the, it's the side that has this part in it and it's designed to hold this, which just kind of fits in here oddly enough. In theory, gotta line up the cogs here. Just goes right in, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, let's see here. There we go. So that just slides right in there and then just clicks on like that. And that's the gear. Actually, the gear's up here. And it runs that mechanism. And then there's another motor here, which basically goes right on there. So um, my attempt, I've got a dual purpose attempt. I also have the whole mechanism with the gearing. So I'm gonna try a couple things. First off, I'm just gonna pull that secondary landing gear out and put in the primary with its own gear set, with its own motor, with its own switch. So I'll be able to run either one. There'll be two switches. Um, this is the existing switch right now. It's this goofy ass thing here. You know, it's got an up down. And I'm gonna put in two switches, one for the left, one for the right. You can power them both down. Um, independently, you can adjust them independently. That's the project. And then at the same time, I'm gonna take the backup unit, the one I pull out, and I'm gonna attempt to rebuild it possibly with the new gear set and see if I can convert um, a, a non-driving side landing gear to, to be a driving side. It looks like everything is in the same positioning, so it looks like it would be very easy to convert. So I'll be attempting that at the secondary. The actual landing gear uh, costs here, uh, this piece here was about 120 bucks. This was about 60, and the motor was about um, 100, so about 300 bucks to convert. And then the, the switch also, extra switch, um, another 20 bucks. I'm looking at about 350 bucks in costs um, to, to do this to your RV if you're interested. Um, there are kits out there to convert everything uh, integrated. Um, that's certainly an option too. I figured I'd, this is half the price. I don't have to mess with the other side. I'm only messing with one side. Um, additionally, um, I do believe that with the bar assembly, uh, if for some reason one of them fails, the motor fails or the gear set fails on either one of these, I believe I can still set the bar in place and use either side to power the other as kind of a nice backup feature. So I'll be trying all of that uh, with this attempt uh, to modify uh, RV landing gear so that I have full adjustment uh, on both sides. I'll keep you posted.